All right, I've made a new update to my brick-based destruction system. And as you can see, it's uh, running fairly smoothly. It's pretty much just like before, but I have converted everything over to be based on PCG. And that allows me to do this. Now I can take down a building in about five seconds instead of 50 seconds. Uh, let me show you what's going on behind the scenes. So I have used the modeling tool to take a brick batched up into two bricks, and uh, just scale it up by four every time until I have this large brick panel. And I am placing those brick panels when I generate these buildings. Let me enable debug info. So as you can see here, I have just destroyed one of the larger brick panels. I shoot a spline through it. And I use PCG to just determine how close it can build to the spline. So I place four white panels, break down one of the white panels um, into four blue panels, and so on until I get down to the individual brick level, which are these red dots here. And when something doesn't fit as an individual brick, it turns into a particle. And these particles are a lot more efficient than they used to be because game dev Micah pointed out that we can actually export GPU particles back to Blueprint, which has allowed me to make all of these particles be GPU based. And I can <laughs> run them smoothly with collision, no problems, and everything works great and efficiently. And just to stress test things, I created this rather large building. Let me turn off this debug again. And, uh, yeah, my computer can't quite handle it smoothly, but uh, it still works pretty well. So there you go. Procedural content destruction.